minute. This meeting is being recorded. Um, I guess we can wait another minute for uh, for Jeff. Oh, there's Jeff. He's probably trying to get in. How come it still says he's an attendee? Yeah, I'm on as an attendee. I don't know why they wouldn't let me on. Um, but no. whoever's this the is our can... monthly struggle, Jeff. One of us can it, inevitably one of us cannot get on as. A... Oh. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right. Well, should be good now. Yeah. All right. Cool. I might need to <laughs> run just for a second. I have somebody coming that I'm um, donating some stuff to um, for a project that she does with the, the homeless. And I'm like so excited to get rid of this stuff. Um, cool. I'm going to. So if I run real quick, forgive me. Uh, okay, cool. let's see. Now, where's the agenda? Do you oh want God. me to take notes? Oh, would you? That would be amazing. Yeah, I can. There it is. I'm operating on I'm like, I always, I always have. Um, all right, let's see. In a tablet. Um, no, Leo, come on. All right. So one, one thing I was asking Shannon about Jeff, maybe you'd be able to under, um, maybe you'd be able to answer. Um, <laughs> hold on a second. Leo, this is. The best part of working from home. Oh my God. Um, all right. It was maybe, maybe thinking about um, doing like a drawing at the end June. Like, so, you know, we'll do all, our, our spotlight awards through May. And then maybe in June, it would be fun to do a drawing uh, of all the people who submitted spotlight awards. Not not the nominees, but the nominator. Um, you know, any, anybody who submitted a spotlight award, whether they their person was chosen or not, um, like just a little gift card, like a, something a little fun, a little raffle or not raffle, but I guess. Um, maybe like, you know, 25 bucks to Starbucks or something or Scarborough Grounds. Yeah, I love that idea. I, I, I just love uh, the award itself and then encouraging, continuing to encourage staff to, to nominate and recognize other staff, right? Like that's, that's the coolest part of it. There's just a marker on the screen. Why is a marker? <laughs> so is that something that we need to get approved by the board or can we just kind of I it? asked Shannon that and we didn't get approval to give an, a prize to the each person like I today I emailed Kelly and you know <laughs> Kelly was like already on it um I I made a new certificate um during <laughs> during our last meeting because I thought that ours were kind of like not that pretty mm -hmm. and so I just downloaded a um a new one and um i asked her if she would print them on like cardstock and then we could put them in so she already ordered the stuff oh nice yeah so that they'll be here next week sometime so um i don't know if you saw did i show them to you did you guys see them um i think you emailed it but i haven't looked at it yet yeah, me neither. Um, let me see. If I can. Uh, let's see. 
I don't know if I can just, oh my God, I'll be embarrassed by the number of tabs I have open, but I can show you. We'll be, we'll be counting them. I don't think you will be able to. <laughs> okay, I can. Okay, how do you do, okay, share a window. There we go. It's gonna be like, what window? There's 80. Oh, cute. Um, yeah, I just thought they were like a little bit, a little more um, you know, cleaner looking and. It looks more like Scarborough Public Schools. Like yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> Um, so there's that, uh, we, we, we have, I, I would like to, um, see if we can get somebody chosen today and like get this stuff out so we can present hopefully next Thursday. Um, usually it isn't a problem. I mean, if somebody tells us it's a problem, then we can respond to that. Um, but do you have any, so we had, we had one leftover um, from last year that we still haven't, we still haven't done anything with. And I thought mm -hmm. maybe we should carry that over. You know, I don't want to take them out of the running. Um, yeah. But then we so have. I saw, I saw both. I do like the idea of going back, just go back to last year, just to clear that list. Um, and I also, yeah. with, with our other one for our most recent one, it seems like it's a double nomination. So wondering if we should maybe take the time to like split that into two different ones. Um, I wasn't sure, like, so on behalf, okay, so this is, this is like a, this, these two people, it sounds like they were in charge of a particular project together. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, I know that you can't, I know that you can't see this right now but um i'll i can share this list with you um if you don't already have it but um it was it's it was a really interesting project and it probably does make sense that they go together um mm -hmm. and we you know it'll be fun to like really showcase what they did as well um so i don't know if we want to maybe like just say well obviously Mar you know, March is, March is coming right up. It'll be here before we know it. Maybe we could just start reaching out to them um, and really get to making a presentation that, that also involves them talking about what they did um, yeah. and how, how it makes Scarborough unique. <clears throat> um, but I feel like that would take a little bit longer. Um, yeah. I think, I think keeping them together would be wise. Okay, hold uh, on just a second. Yep. Oh, Jeff, you're breaking up. Oh, and Jeff is gone. He'll be back. <laughs> First, I thought it was me because I couldn't hop on from the school laptop.
Welcome back, Jeff. Sorry about that. I got disconnected. Oh, yeah, no. It's like you were never gone. <laughs> we're still waiting for Jillian to come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what what was the project? Um so um Raptor Emergency Management, Bright Arrow, and Power School. Yeah. So they were this this nomination was for their combined efforts to these things as Sean examples. Kim. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I think it would be wise to keep them together. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like a super like what a great project. That, yeah. Um I just think it would be fun maybe um maybe we could even coordinate getting the students or some of the students to come in and talk about it. Mhm. Mm yeah, I feel I think like it would make sense also yeah. to just send their information their letter out now also, just so they have yeah. some time to get it all together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can send out the email to each, the, to the person that nominated um, the February Spotlight Award recipient and the, per, and the winner. Um, do you can one of you make up one of those letters? I just want to make sure it all gets out. Yeah. Um, you want to do the the February one, and then I'll do the the March. The yeah. The other the thing that we aren't doing that might be like um, maybe just every couple of months sending out a renewed message. Um, to the staff, like here have our been uh, the most recent award recipients since the last time we wrote you. Um, and then, you know, obviously if we're going to do a, a small prize, um, include that information. And then, uh, you know, I don't know. I feel like also once um, it would be nice to send out a thank you note to uh, the, the people who nominate also, just because it's huge, it's like they um, they put in a lot of work. I mean, look how much stuff th that was already put in. Some of that, like that, took somebody some time. Mm -hmm. Just you know, it's just nice to do. Um, I feel like that part's missing, but also like to let the staff know. Maybe I mean, probably the staff know, but just a reminder. Here's been our past few re award recipients. Don't forget to nominate somebody today. We'll do that for the next slide. We have uh, the next time we put up slides at our school board meeting, we'll put up all the mug shots of you and the winners. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> or just crop them out and say, these are the yeah. winners. Like, put like one of those stickers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that last one was so nice. I, I really like that. Oh. Um, um, well, they've all been nice, but all right. So there's that. We'll get that work done today. Um, we need to get out a letter like in the next few days. Mm -hmm. uh, get, uh, somebody else. Well, I mean, in a, maybe next two weeks we got to get them. Um, uh, updated to to nominate more because we have um well we have two more spots yeah um <clears throat> i was trying to get a form filler like so i could just plug somebody's name in and um also uh to write thank you letters and google is not that friendly to that kind of stuff. Like you can do that stuff all day long with Word. So I might do that with Word. It's kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Like you put 
the name in in a spreadsheet and it pulls it right over to a letter. Yep. When you like I mean, not that it's that the, much, but the files. You know, if we had like 30 letters to write, it would be a pain in the neck. Yeah. Um, all right. Newly created Google Doc. Okay. So any any suggestions um, for the communications request form? Like I I feel I feel a little bit like we're still um, there's still so much learning going on, um, but we, and we're going to have this huge focus on the, on the school, but we really mm -hmm. need to, um, it, it's just a lot to think about. We need to think about how, how we're going to communicate more frequently with the community, all the great things going on in the schools and with the school board. Um, Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, even just put, just getting stuff on Facebook. Yeah. So stuff that's coming up, we have the budget seasons coming up so that those yeah. articles are going to be coming out. And then, um, we're going to be putting out the, our stuff in the leader for the building <clears throat> um project and then i guess you know when we start writing these these things i, I want to know just what kind of angle we want to take um when we put out this information actually jeff i know you're going to be doing the february article um what are you going to be highlighting for that for the for the february one just so we don't like repeat ourselves um, for for everything. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm. Uh, what I'm likely going to do is just highlight, um, just kind of highlight the needs, and I think remind people too a little bit that this is a K to eight uh, solution, mm -hmm. and so it also impacts you know Wentworth and middle schools, and and is really the you know the unified school would, would represent, you know, the most effective use of resources and, and also serving to provide the equity and, and staffing and then all of the programs and things that we're, you know, currently not able to do as well in our small schools. Um, and then, and also just, you know, remind folks that, that this is, you know, this is, been talked about and 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 necessary for current enrollment and even the last you know for over the last 20 years and, and just I don't know right I just kind of like a, a renewed kind of focus on the why and making sure that yeah, yeah. Um, you know, people understand a little bit where we've been and where we are right now you yeah know? you know you know I mean I know these are like kind of crossing ways but since I mean we're partnering with the building steering committee I think it would be good if we could get a structural and like get to really interview a structural engineer on what it would really take, like maybe an independent somebody to say, what would it take to do to these three schools what need to be done? Oh, we lost John. Um, like from a, you know, because we can say it all day long, but I wonder if it would be like a, a nice, like an interview style. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, Jillian. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all, right. all sorts of crap happening. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. We actually, um, we had a really good meeting uh, with a communications consultant. Yes. Um, on when on Wednesdays. So oh, that's awesome. she's actually, she's working on putting kind of like a list of recommendations and a proposal together. Um, so we're hoping to, to kind of connect with her again soon. Uh, I thought it went pretty well. It, um, I was on the call with, with Dana, Shannon, um, Diane, 
Jillian, were you were you on, I was, on I, it as well? I, yes, I, I my class ran over and okay, so yeah, I yeah. was late, but I was there. Right. Mara, I thought it was so great. You, you heard some of that too. What, what did you think? I thought it was great. Uh, um, I thought uh, she was very positive, had some good ideas. Um, I thought she was just realistic about um, what we would, what we could do independently, and what she could do, what her focus could be, so that we're not um, we're not duplicating efforts. Uh, I I thought it was great. And I, I don't know if she mentioned this, but she's a Scarborough resident, yes? Does she live in Scarborough? Uh, I don't know, but that would be great. I think I think she might. I, 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 I'm trying to remember if either Dana mentioned it or maybe she did. I know she's got a two-year-old, um, but I'm pretty sure she... Oh, you got muted, Jeff. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she lives in Scarborough. Great. I mean, even better, right? I, I, I think um, people appreciate that. I mean, I would like for it to be made clear that Lisa is a Scarborough resident. Oh, yeah. um, so that the narrative is not out there that they don't care about our, the, the imp I mean, people are concerned that there's, um, you know, not a concern for the impact. But the fact is, is that this is a, like almost all Scarborough residents, which is amazing. Yeah, and, you know, and I have heard a little like um, rumors about Harriman and like charging it up and all this kind of stuff, but they came in under, they Harriman built Wentworth. Um, they came in under budget and, and have just provided really kind of top notch um, support all along. You know, I, yeah. you know, I, you talk to Todd about it. I mean, they, they really went above and beyond in a lot of ways, not just in, in meeting the timelines and, and beating the uh, overall budget, but, but also just in um, customer service, frankly, like even, you know, for years after it was completed. Yeah, it's a, it's without, a great without school. charging, without charging, without charging us for it, <laughs> yeah. you know, um, so they've right. been, they, They've been, as a firm, as an architectural firm, and not just Scarborough, it's other communities as well. They've been very good, uh, good to us. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, they're pretty amazing. Well, um, yeah, so, so Jenna, you are going to, are you going to, you're going to write a letter to the editor? I was, I'm going to write the March article and then oh, I was making, I, I had wondered if it would be, um, okay to just encourage anybody that we know to write letters to the editor. Um, yeah. I support it. Because yeah. I mean, I think it's time for us all, like, I would like if we could each, you know, find one person a month that might write a letter to the editor. Yeah. Um, just explaining, you know, maybe where they were when this was first discussed and where they are today. Um, what they see the need as, where they see deficiencies and, you know, or whatever they want to write about. Right. Um, so I was, you know, just trying to think of ways that we can get to the emotional side of the reasons why a lot of people don't want um, a new school. So I was wondering if I would be able to tackle on that kind of angle um, for, yeah. the March, for the March article. Yeah, <clears throat> let, me, let me know if... Uh... If you want to collaborate and I'm happy to help any way that I can. I, I hear what a lot of people are saying. Um, and I think it's going to, I think we're, we need to convince people or not just convince them, but really show what is, what is missing from these three schools, like all the things that are missing. 
with pictures and whatever. And then, I mean, I know we've done quite a bit of that, but like a running tally with a dollar amount, I think people are going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, they'll be, uh, they'll be surprised for sure and maybe horrified, <laughs> which wouldn't be a bad thing. No, no, I know. Um, you know, the building steering committee will discuss that more. And there's, um, from what I understand, there's uh, more accessible information on the website now that indicates who's on what committees and when they're meeting. Um, they're they're doing a you know really renewed effort to get that information out there. That's good. Um, sorry to kind of like hijack this before, but you were talking about the Google form for the communication requests. Um, yeah. I know Freyla had, had, I think she's the only one that's kind of submitted anything through there. Right. And, and the whole reason for that is like, we, when we were getting people would kind of casually mention and we weren't getting like a, like, well, what do you, what do you want? Uh, I just wanted to be crystal clear what was needed, what was expected. Um, because like when you're pulling information, it's like, you know, people don't know what we expect and, that, right. you know, um, those are the things that we needed. Unfortunately, the way that's set up is you can't submit pictures. So they will have to email them to us. But like, I just think we need to make it clear. If you, if you, if there's something you can't do, you, you need to let us know. Right. Um, or if you want feedback, but <laughs> You know, I, I just want enough lead time because we're all, we're all perfect. You know, we all have jobs and, and sometimes that stuff takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the, the form is fine and I, and I like that at least one person has used it. I just don't think enough has happened with the, with the committees that yeah. anyone has it's felt still the need to submit anything. Yeah, we, and we're going to have our hands full. I mean, we, we really probably are going to spend 90% of our time between, you know, the spotlight awards and, um, well, now we have that, we have that under control. We, we, we've got a process I think that works and, um, that and then the school and the budget, we're going to have all we can do to deal with that stuff um, until November. Yeah. Um, okay. um what else is on here? Discuss this whole letter. I'll uh, tell my boss I'm oh. busy for the next uh, you know eight months, nine months. He'll be fine with <laughs> it. <laughs> it's going to be busy we're I mean I, I think um that's what I was trying to get that like project work workflow because I'm so visual I I need to see what needs to be done mm -hmm. and I I need like a list and I wanted something that could be you know, duplicate like tasks that could be duplicated easily. But if that doesn't work for us, and that's fine too. I was just like, there's too many things to think about. There's too many things to remember. I need like a concise way to look at it, um, so that I don't I don't lose track of it. Yeah. I mean, we could we can yeah. use a Excel for, or you know sheets or anything, but um. I just don't want to drop any, any balls. Like, I mean, like the, the certificate, um, I had, I had thought I had sent it out. I didn't. And then it was like, Oh no, we don't have a certificate. Um, right. how did Thursday get here so fast? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, so you down, I downloaded that app 
Yeah. Um, and I will say, I don't look at it as much as I should. I'm still trying to get used to it. <laughs> but I do agree that there needs to just be some sort of organization. Um, and I mean, especially coming up like, oh, God. it's overwhelming. Yeah. Well, so <clears throat> for the next things we need to put up on Facebook or just social media, <clears throat> What do we need to really, which are the ones that we really need to promote now? We have the, the budget workshops that are coming up. Um, and then what are, what's on our agenda for next week's board meeting? Well, we have that, um, oh shoot, we have that, we, we need to advertise that. Um, we're having is the, that the workshop one about recording. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I think, I think, um, like the the DEI committee it would it would be um, they're going to submit their points and um, you know we we should you know to be nice for everybody to s submit their their thoughts so that we can have the best decision possible. Uh, I mean, for me, it's very, it's like, I, I, I can see the concerns that people have. And I, so I just think it's going to be a hard conversation, but I think it'll be a good and a robust one. I mean, <laughs> look at our meeting. Um, yeah. Um, all right. So for that, I can, I can at least make a, I'm going to like recycle old images that we've had, um, but I can make like the social media, like pretty post, but then as for okay. information that needs to be presented, um, do you want to just reach out to everybody on there and let them know yeah. like, hey, and, if there's any information you want us to include on this Oh, I mean, Visual. I just think we need to say what we're going to talk about and, yep. you know, um, you know, one of the things that like I've realized over and over again is that um, people like we get a lot of letters like a half an hour before a board meeting, we're going to discuss stuff. And I know that I don't get a chance to read what that person says. Um, yeah. And so, but I mean, you wouldn't know, I mean, why you wouldn't necessarily think about that. Um, maybe it would be good to give some gentle encouragement that, you know, enough lead time for board members to read your email, um, you know, and, and, and not a rude or anything, you know, not in any sort of punitive way, just like maybe something people don't even realize. Right, just a little disclaimer. Okay. Yeah, may not be able to read it right on time. Um, we, oh, the, the round tables. Hmm. Um, so Shannon had asked, you know, or strongly suggested, I would say, that we set them up perhaps more frequently. I, I think, you know, once there's a site and there's some actual development going on, um, I think it's a little bit ominous for people. Uh, so maybe late spring, early summers when that would be ramping up, um, which would be great because it would be after, <laughs> um, after uh, budget. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I think we, I, th I think we are going to have to advertise some suggested topics, but um, I think we need to also make it really clear that if you come and want to talk about something else, then we'll talk about something else. It's, you know, but I, I think if you put it out there, like, just come talk to us about what, you know, uh, or, um, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that will go over. I, I haven't, 
We need a fun name for these round tables. Like, like how coffee with a cop sounds cool. Yeah. But you know, you're suggesting that coffee with a school board member does not sound fun. We need like some alliteration, like beer yeah. with a board member, but not beer. <laughs> I mean, there's Maybe nothing beer, wrong with beer. We're all adults. <laughs> well, we talked about, um, there's been a ton of ideas thrown around and that, and that's what I mean. Like we're, there's sort of stuff everywhere and I need, I need like a, something to organize these things, but um, like a one note or something that's not available on Google, but um, like having some, like, you know, bringing a thing of ice cream or some, you know, ice cream cones or whatever to a playground in when it's warm enough and not horrible out. Um, so that people who maybe don't have a good opportunity to come and chat with us because they're taking care of their children um, might have that opportunity, might feel welcoming um, or making ourselves available at some time where it would be convenient for people to do whatever, like maybe coordinating, um, what? Oh, I thought somebody jumped I in. But... John, John wanted to say something. No. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to make a joke, but I, I thought better of it. <laughs> it, involved a, it involved a van with the ice cream. Oh, my God. John, don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> that would send a message. We're on your side, people. <laughs> um. But I mean, like, yeah, I don't want it to feel like stuffy and uncomfortable for people. Yeah. So are you thinking, um, when do you think we should hold the first one then? I mean, I think we need a solid month to get it, to get like actual yeah. plans. Like we don't want it to be uncoordinated and thrown together. Um, we need, you know, enough time to advertise enough time to figure out who's going to be we, like, who's going to be there when it's going to be, are we holding multiple sessions? Um, but every three months, or are we just going to alternate when we hold them? Um, I mean, there's all things to think about. Where is it going to be? I mean, maybe the first one is at town hall, but we kind of like clear the tables and have just some seating. See, I feel like if it's going to be at town hall, it just feels more formal. Yeah. So it's just yeah, like, I mean, that could be a little intimidating. Yeah. So it's like if we have it at a I don't know. We'll go to like none such or something. And yeah, dinner. we'd have to notify them. Like, yeah, we would like to come and um, have some drinks and appetizers. Yeah. At your facility. And then just put a little, I don't know, a little sign up or something. So people aren't like, oh. <laughs> That's the Don our Scarborough gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Showing the mascot and suit. Is there room in the budget that, you know, we'll print up a, a sweater that says school board member right on the, <laughs> on the jacket? <laughs> yeah. no, OMG. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, thank you, Jenna. Hey, you're on the finance committee. See what they think about that. Yeah, make some room for it for us. <laughs> some board, so, some some board merch. Get some truck hat, trucker hats. Yes. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> we can then we can go door to door in town talking to people, showing up with our trucker hats and sweatshirts. <laughs> we want to talk to you about schools <laughs> and some pamphlets. Yeah. 
No, it's not at all. I mean, not that that would be the worst idea. I would do that. I mean, this is that important that if we have to resort to that, it would be something I'd be fine with doing. Oh, I think we're definitely, that is definitely going to be something. Um, communication, I think that communications will ultimately handle that because it'll be like communication and outreach. Um, but it'll, you know, around campaign. I mean, that's how you reach people who, who don't necessarily get the other information. No, yeah, well, we, I mean, Christ, when we ran, we talked to a lot of people and, uh, and a lot of people wanted, had questions and wanted and want and, and, and liked what we were saying and, and, uh, and were interested. So it would be a good way to meet and, uh, and get the, the message out, meet people, talk <laughs> yeah. to them. So, um, uh, I, uh, there were definitely days that um, we went out with the goal of hitting like 50 doors and we hit five because there were like several 45 minute conversations. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right which i like those I mean, are those like are good that. conversations to they're have. great they're great now if we could get them to come to us that would be awesome and that would be but uh, yeah yeah you tell me how that works out and uh what we have to do to make well, it happen you know what i was thinking you know the pta has fundraisers at romeo's or mm -hmm. wherever yeah maybe it would be good to get their schedule and say hey we'd like to come and be available to people who might want to come and talk to us for 15 minutes while they're waiting for their pizza or whatever. Romeo's never heard of it. Yeah. John, everybody will know you when you come in though, expecting you at a different table. <laughs> um, I don't think it's, um, I mean, I don't think it's inappropriate if, um, somebody wants to grab a beer and talk to us. I don't think that's inappropriate at all. I mean, there were adults. I, mean, I think the whole point is for it to feel very comfortable. Yeah. Right. You know, and we like, don't even need, we don't even need, sorry. We don't even need to piggyback on anything else. We could put out there, hey, come talk to us about the new school, you know, and even I bet you we, I could talk to D and say that we could make it, you know, we could donate money to charity and say people, that come to talk to about the school, you know, about the new school at Romeo's, you know, whatever we could get money to go to whatever program we wanted to. He's very, very good about that at Romeo's and would, uh, cause he gives back to the community all the time. We could make something like that happen and we could do a bunch of those and we could do it at other places. I know Angelo that owns, um, you know, cowbell or the, at least the, the building. And I know the guy that runs the store uh, there I know they do something like that. Um, you know, it's not, I think we can get people to come out without having to, you know, again, piggyback on top of the PTA or this or that or the other. Well, we could put I, I something was, together on our own, which yeah. wouldn't be very difficult to do and have people come out and meet us. Yeah, no, and I'm not opposed to that, but I'm just thinking like, whenever the PTA puts those out, I'm always like, okay, fine. I'll order from Romeo's tonight. Like I'm going to be there because of that anyway um and as a busy person you know i could probably find a way to sit down for 15 minutes um and just have a you know a small interaction um but and even they, if we just have information to hand out to people and they don't really right. want to talk and they just we just have here yeah. look at this you know and nothing that's too cumbersome or you know it's like a hundred page booklet that they have to flip through just highlights some graphs this that and the other that yeah uh, and the qr that somebody code can look at website. yeah well, you know anything that would uh that we can give them they can walk away and say oh well you know what hey, i didn't know and if they have some questions you know we'll have another thing another time and they can come back out and ask us or they can come to one of the meetings or round tables or workshops or whatever it is we're going to have and they can, at that point, or they can contact us directly. They know, I mean, they know how to find us. We make it yeah. very easy. I, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if I shared with you guys that we had one mom who was writing to us and I could tell that she was really frustrated with, I mean, you know, cause it takes some time to respond back. And we've, we've kind of talked about that at our last um, 
retreat or not retreat um, workshop, but I reached out and I said, would you like to get coffee? And she said, yeah, I would love that. And we had a really great conversation. We stayed longer than we said we were going to, but, um, and that was fine. I, I, that was fine. It was good. Um, I felt like I walked away having a better understanding of her concerns. And I feel like she felt heard. Um, you know, we, you know, if, if there's people that come and have more questions or more that they want to talk about, we can say, reach out to me, we can get coffee. Um, but also like being at restaurants or being at various well-known places in town, um, definitely feels more inviting, but also it's not just school people, right? which, you know, it's an opportunity for anybody in the community. Um, you know, I wonder if we could get the, the uh, leader to even advertise it, you know, a small, a small, like in their, what, what to do section. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. Um, you know, things like that. I, I don't know. I just don't have, other than we're, you know, we'll put it on Facebook, right? Obviously we'll put it in the school newsletter. We can put it in the town newsletter. Um, and we can maybe see if the newspaper will put it in their little things going on section. Um, all right. So John, it sounds like you're volunteering to find a first location for us. Uh, John has left the meeting. <laughs> okay, I will. Uh, I will put something together. When are we looking to do it? I, you know, I don't know what. What do you What do you guys think? Like a Friday evening. I don't. Um, I don't think. Well, I don't know. I feel like any. No, I take that back. Fridays are just rough on like everybody who just doesn't want to do anything on a Friday. Yeah, um, that's true. Like a week. Oh, I mean, oh, Thursday. everybody's, I mean, everybody's busy all the time. Um, well, what do you, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I would be open to almost anything. Yeah, I'd be fine with anything as long as it's after my work hours. Um, yeah. And we'd do like a five to seven type thing, maybe, or five or six to eight. Yeah. I think I think during a time when people will enter to grab dinner for their families anyway, yeah. even if they're just coming in to pick up. Yeah, we we'd have to make sure that that was like an okay time. We don't want to inundate um, an already busy busy business um, or yeah. take away anything from them. Um, but, um, and then, so I know next month is going to be really busy for March ups uh, for, for finance and budgeting stuff. I mean, it's just, it's going to be all budget stuff from here on out anyway, but Jeff, is there a better, what is the best month, I guess, to, to really get this going? Yeah, March, I was thinking as you were saying, March is definitely hard because- well, Definitely not, not March. Imagine. We'll just cancel March. Not, not, <laughs> April, I mean, April, I think, you know, um, April could work, you know, I mean- yeah, Maybe like the first of it, you know, right in the beginning of April. Yeah, and even even like early May, I mean, once you get into like mid-May and late May, like the, all the end of the year stuff starts piling up pretty quick. Yeah. You know, but but April, yeah. I mean, I think anytime those first couple of weeks in April, it gets a little, you know, it's not as crazy as March. And March March is just like a long month, right? I mean, and plus there's just multiple. Yeah, I mean, we we've got just multiple long workshops and and budget related stuff, and that's that's pretty heavy. 
Yeah. All right. I, I don't mind because April's, you know, spring, everyone, everything's starting to get warm. People yeah. are coming yeah. out more. People are, people are starting to get out of the, yeah, get out of their cocoons a little bit. Plus, I feel like everybody in March is just mad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like mud season. It's like not really spring yet. Not that spring yeah. ever really comes anymore, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah, it's a long month. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and we can, I, I mean, I think like the, in terms of who's going to be there, I think um, it, two of us should definitely be there for the first several. And then I'm hoping, especially where we are looking at doing more for the school building project, we can rotate in some other people mm-hmm. um, to, you know, not have it all be on, on us. Um, but of course we, you know, we have to be careful. There's no more than three. Um, of course. Um, I think that the, the, the general idea is just to give people an opportunity to have some face-to-face conversation and yeah. Also the town count, what, one of the things that came up is the town council had offered to do like a specifically building related one, um, either with their counselor corner live or one of their, um, I mean, there you go. Uh, they have the counselor corner live. That's, that's what they do. Um, I mean, that's, that's a fun name, more fun than round table. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need a, again, we need to come with something fun. Yeah. I don't have I'll think of something. I can't think of it right now. I'm kind of burnt out from the day, but yeah, same. Some some sort of literary. It's cute. All right. We have our marching. The boardroom. The boardroom. (laughs) The boardroom. (laughs) That sounds so official. Sounds a little yeah, that sounds a little a little too formal. Um I don't know. I do think it will be fun, though. I if if we if people engage, I don't think absolutely. Be... I mean, and even if we only get a handful of people, you know, one is better than none, right? <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, I mean, a number. Of, you know, I can remember um, the first, the very first school board meeting I ever showed up to. I, you know, so I used to watch them or whatever on online um, whenever, whenever they were posted like a week later or something. Um, but uh, the first time I went into town hall and I was like, I have to walk into that room and I don't even know what's in there. I waited for somebody to come out of the bathroom and followed them. And <laughs> I was like so <laughs> intimidated by uh, the whole idea. It seemed crazy to me. Um, it's a scary place yeah and it's weird there's like seven people just like staring at you what the heck um all right anyway so so plan for april plan for april um we got to get those letters out uh i'll i'll send an email to the board notifying them of our plans um and I mean, for for the spotlights. Um, and then we, sometime in the next week or so, we got to get together a letter. Um, and Jeff, I'll send you an email with the three of us to kind of discuss how we want to handle um, that group coming in and, and presenting like I I think that would be such a great thing for the community to hear about. And I, and actually, um, I think if once we get past the, all of this other stuff, if we could continue maybe writing articles just once a month and maybe just include the students, like get them to write a little paragraph up about what's going on in the schools, they're in there getting that information. Um, maybe we could talk about this kind of stuff. <laughs> That just gave me an idea, That's actually, right. to Uh-oh. ask to ask Colby and Yulia to get to interview students 
and ask them, like, why do you want a new school? And make like cute videos that way. Yeah, I was hoping they would feel, I mean, when, as I was sitting there at the last meeting and I was saying, we're, we're, we're asking board members to find a committee that they would like to be on and join it. Um, you know, we're not asking you to take a huge piece of the pie of that committee, but be involved, be aware. Um, it adds more to the conversation. It inv- shows that you're invested. Um, they said, they said, did you know about this? And I turned and I said, no, I'm announcing this for the first time to everybody. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> like I felt really bad because they, I think it would be uh, nice for them to get, like give them a piece to be involved with. Um, we need some student ambassadors, I think. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. Put it down on our ever growing list of things we'd like to. It's there. Awesome. All right. It's five o'clock. Um, anything Bye. else? Nope, sounds good. See you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all good, Jeff? All good. All good on my end. All right. Great. Thank you so much for joining. No worries. Have a good evening. All right. All right. See you guys. All right. All right take care. Oh, d- don't forget to end the recording. Yeah. I hit just end, right? End webinar for all. Wait a second. Okay. Am I, is this not recording? Oh, it is. No, it says it's recording. It says recording.